Hello and welcome to the 18th video of the JavaFX application and in this video we are going to make our month heading work and we are going to make our label buttons work so that when we click on them we can scroll through the calendar. Now in order to do that we're going to need to move a bit of code around yet again uh, because programming is so dynamic and our uh, uh, application is dynamic so we're just going to have to do that. Um, so we're just going to go straight ahead <coughs> And uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my calendar a little bit bigger when I open it up because it was a bit too small. The window was a bit too small to display the whole calendar. So now it's nicely displaying the whole calendar. It might still be missing one row there or be a bit too short, but it doesn't matter that much. Now at least we can see most of the month. Okay, so in order to do uh, the, uh, the code that we want to do, we're going to need to make our build calendar uh, which is the uh, function we use for manipulating the uh, border pane calendar. Uh, we're going to need to make that a little bit more dynamic. We're going to need to pass through a local date variable. And uh, I'm just going to call it date. Pardon me. Date. <coughs> and uh, now all the uh, um, todays we need to replace with dates. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to double click on the today. There's the first one there, the paste, next one there, next one there, next one there, and I think there's one more down the bottom. Yep, there we go. I think that's all of them inside this function. If it's not, I'm sure we will have a bug somewhere. Good. Now, um, when we call this function, of course, it's going to give us a... Um, an error because uh, we only pass the grid pane we don't pass the local date so the local date what we need to pass through when we start the calendar is today simple as that so nothing would change now if we run our program so we're just going to run that to test it and there we go we have our uh, um, calendar it's all still working fine and uh, now what we can do is, is we can set that text month to the date that we pass through to the to the month of the date that we pass through and we called it t month was the text so t month dot set text and we're going to call this date dot get month and then we need to pass that through a string because at the moment it is a local date so to string it is as simple as that so if we test that we just run the calendar and we start and it will have July at the top. So and then <coughs> what we're going to do with our buttons is we're going to rebuild our calendar every time we uh, scroll through the buttons and uh, uh, what we are going to do in order to do that we need to clear the calendar. So we're going to create another function just up here called private uh, void. It's going to be a private void uh, that is if I can spell private correctly v void and uh, we're going to call this clear calendar and uh, that's basically what it's going to do and in order to do that we need to get the border pane calendar and we need to say dot get children oh not that one let me just say dot get children And we're going to say dot outside dot clear, like so. So that's going to clear. So if we build our first label function here, which is label forwards, so it's L and it's just forward, that's what we call the label, dot add event handler, and that is going to be mouse event dot, and it is mouse clicked that one and this we here we're going to use a lambda expression for uh, the code that we want to happen when we click the button so it is uh, mouse uh, event sorry and uh, this is how we create the lambda expression like so and that's that and uh, just very quickly we'll do the same for the other label which we just called back 
and we're going to say dot add event. Oh, that's my bad. Uh, dot add event handler, and it is a mouse event dot mouse clipped. And then we're going to turn this, and we're going to create a lambda expression here, and it's mouse event like so. There we go. <coughs> now we've got our two uh, clickable listeners for our labels. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to uh, test our clear calendar uh, function that we have created. So let's not get too shocked that when we click on the button that goes forward, which is this one. So if we click on that, uh, calendar should actually the interior of a candle ca calendar will disappear but that's exactly what we want to have good so now that we have that happening we are um, going to then have to put the, uh, the code in that's going to change the date and I'm going to be a little bit safe there and I'm going to create another private uh, um, local date variable and I'm going to call this date Iterator, and I'm going to set that to today because when we open our calendar our calendar is going to use this today as the first run of our of our build calendar so I'm gonna set the date iterator to that because it will be default okay um, then what's gonna happen is gonna say date iterator dot no equals pardon me date iterator dot plus months and we're going to add one month to that good <coughs> that's that and then we need to build our calendar so um, we're just going to say it is the function is called build calendar not clear calendar so build calendar and we're going to pass in the um, grid pane and we are going to pass in the date iterator like so now if we run our um, application you will see that if we go one day forwards we go a uh, month forwards we go to August and uh, what we're going to do to do the other button, the back button, I'm just going to paste all that text because it's all the same apart from this and as you probably guessed this is minus uh, months one. So now if we um, go forwards a month and go backwards a month then you'll see that we change through a month but we are not yet done here because we have a little bit of an issue now and uh, the first issue that we have is um, let's go down to our nested for loop yeah the first issue that we have is that we have a little issue with um, our dates so if we just keep going here we had to create an extra row because of the way that the Sunday falls and if we keep going you will see that we're going to have some problems here because there's the well you can just see that's a problem now and the way to fix that is that we actually need to clear our calendar our grid pane pardon me and we call the grid pane that we pass through our calendar uh, build we call GP so we call that grid pane and we need to clear it so just after we created the date iterator here I'm gonna call this uh, um, GP dot get just got a bit stuck there children uh, yeah that was right dot get children dot clear like so good now if we run it we should have um, we shouldn't have that problem anymore however we're gonna have another problem and uh, you'll see oops let's just bring that back up you'll see that uh, um, 
when we get to April, oops, it doesn't say all the days in April. So we need to sort that issue out. And that is also quite an uh, uh, um, easy fix. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I just get my head back in the game here. Yeah, first of all, we uh, the the problem with that is is that we've got this we count in here. Okay, so we're just going to take that and we're going to just put that um, calculation in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in brackets because we want to work this out first, and then we want to add one day to that. Now we need to take this one day out of here, otherwise we're going to add too many days into that. And uh, I think, yeah, let's do that. And we should find now that uh, April is still not sorted. And uh, that is because we need to just uncomment this function here. Uh, it might be that we need to still put the uh, week count in. Let's just go and have a look. The week count plus plus. And uh, if we just go back to April, you'll see we've got that 24. So let's go and take this uncommon that. And uh, that should now be live. And if we run that, start that now if we go to April. That's it. Now it's working. However, now there is one more um, bug that we have in our system. And uh, um, that is when we get to January, which is our next month, it does not work. And lo and behold, December also does not work. All the other months are working and everything's working very well and uh, really doing what it's supposed to be doing, apart from December and January. Now, I am not going to just give you that quick fix because I want to see and I want to have some comments to see how other people have ideas of fixing that bug issue that uh, we have here with uh, the beginning and the end of our calendar. So uh, that's a little challenge for everybody. Please leave comments. Please let me know how you want to do that. Um, I have got a way, uh, but I want to see if other people have got better ways. And uh, so if people start sharing, maybe I will start sharing my way. So uh, um, that's that. And I wish you a happy coding and I hope you enjoyed it and do like and subscribe and uh, please do find uh, out how we're going to fix this last bug. Happy coding.